Hey guys, it's me, the Finisher 33, the Joker. I'm here to make a quick little video. Okay, it's gonna be like maybe two to three minutes long, maybe four. But anyway, this one's about YouTube Rewind 2019. I, on the other hand, think that we don't need a YouTube Rewind because to me, it's just showing the same YouTubers that are big and also celebrities that are already famous that came onto YouTube that were already famous before they came on YouTube. So it's like, it ruins the idea of all us small YouTubers that would never get a chance to be on it. We just got to keep watching the same people over and over and over. And I'm getting, I'm getting sick of it, dude. Like, it's the same people. Here's the thing that I hate about YouTube Rewind. It makes me feel like crap. It's saying that, LeVon, you would never be anything, but you, look at these people. They'll always be somebody while you're nobody. That's what it shows me, and it actually hurts me. That's why I don't like YouTube Rewind. That's why I never really watched it. I got tired of watching it because it was the same people almost every single time. I'm, I'm sorry, I really want to see small YouTubers on there too because us small YouTubers need a lot of help, you know, to get bigger. And what they're doing is destroying us. And here's the funny thing though, you all say you love these people, but you do realize those YouTubers and YouTube itself likes to ruin small YouTubers like me and other people like you. If you're a small YouTuber, we're kind of screwed kind of. We're not gonna make it nowhere. Like, we can keep trying, we can get big and big, but we won't hit 100,000, we won't hit million subs, we won't hit 2 million subs because reality is we will never be anything. I really want to be somebody, but I've been on YouTube for almost 12 years, dude. Let's just say this I never got it nowhere yet. So I'm actually officially about to be done with this. Uh, with YouTube because if YouTube does you know turn out to be bad next year I'm definitely quitting and if I'm if this is why if I'm hearing that they're gonna also take away inactive subs and fake subs from every youtuber especially us too the small ones we're kind of screwed kind of basically let's just say we will never be famous I will never be famous and I'm about to just give up my dream because dude I'm almost 26 years old next year I'll be 26 and I really wanted to be famous since I was six and look how old I am now 25 years old and I can't do anything right all I am is stuck in the same house with my mom and my stepdad I really wish I had a good life I have nothing I don't have anything going good for me except for <laughs> nothing Nothing. Maybe everybody was white. Maybe, maybe douche and all those other people that talked talk about my YouTube channel was white. I do suck. Maybe I should have quit a long time ago. Because reality is, I'm not a good YouTuber. I'm not. I'm not. But here's the thing. I'm gonna make that reaction video of me talking about WWE Rewind 2019. Not WWE. YouTube Rewind 2019. I will make that reaction video still. I just don't like it because I don't like watching other people who's already famous on there. It's like, ugh. Especially people who have fake subs. A lot of fake subs. Um, let's just say most of those YouTubers have a lot of fake subs. Like, most of those really, really big ones. The ones that have over 100 million. Let's think about it, man. I'm sorry. I don't think 100 million people know who PewDiePie is. <laughs> uh, do, 100 million, do 101 million people know who, you, who he is? No. You know how I know? It's because the same people watching his videos of every video. No joke. And they're watching, we watching it with other people. Because let me just say this I watched PewDiePie's songs maybe 20 to 30 different times. So that gave them 30, 40, 50, 40, 50 views, man. That was because of me. So if I could do it, other people would probably did it too. So basically, most of those views are probably from the same people, kind of. So it's like. I can sit here and say 101 million people know him, but not true. Because if you look at his views on his regular videos, he don't get a lot. He really don't. He get like 6 million to 3 million to 10 million to 15 million. But we want him on the rewind because, well, he's supposed to be the king of YouTube. And then you got Fuzzy YouTube or some other dude. I can make the, the king of the, the Tupac of YouTube. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I will never, ever put those people in the category of those greatest singers and rappers. I'm sorry, I just won't, man. <coughs> they are not Michael Jackson Michael Jackson status or Tupac status. Nope, sorry. I would never believe that. Nope. See, here's the thing. You can sit there and say they are, but they definitely not. I'm sorry. There was more people that know Michael Jackson and Tupac 
than all these new rappers and singers and hip hop singers. Like for real, only people that know who they really are is mostly the kids in my generation because well, we're the same age, you know, we're close to the same age as them people kind of. And I'm sorry, I will never ever put them in a Michael Jackson status or Tupac because almost everybody knows who they are. Like more people know who they are compared to Justin Bieber, The Weeknd, and all these other people. Ninja, um, PewDiePie, Mr. Beats, like the list goes on. I'm not going to hate on them. They are famous. They do got a lot of people that know who they are, but they're not as famous as those people. Just sorry. I'm not going to sit there and say, yes, they are actually as popular as Michael Jackson. No, I'm sorry. I don't know if they're going to be putting that status. Not yet. Maybe one day they'll make it there. If they keep doing what they're doing, they'll definitely make it. But that'd be in like maybe 10, 20, 30 years from now. But not right now. I'm sorry. Michael Jackson's still the biggest person that everyone knows. Tupac, Elvis Presley, everyone knows them worldwide. A lot of people know who they are. So I'm never going to put them in there, that kind of uh, status thing yet. Not until they hit a lot of, like, they actually have the whole wide world. Like, everybody in the whole wide world knows who they, who they are. Like, everyone. Bad and good. I don't care. Then maybe, maybe I put them in the Michael Jackson in the Tupac status. Maybe. But that would be in 20, 30 years from now. So, anyway, guys, here's my saying We do not need a YouTube rewind at all. I'm sorry, we just don't because it's showing off the people that destroy small YouTubers and it shows off the people who made the WWE rewind actually really messing up small YouTubers. So, Reality is, I think we we do not need a YouTube Rewind 2019. So guys, I love you all, and I'll see you guys in my next video.